Hey guys, in the book of Matthew, Jesus is talking and he talks about John the Baptist. And he says of John the Baptist that there is not a greater man to come from woman uh, than John the Baptist. That up until that point in time, there was no one greater of all the prophets and everyone else. And then he says something spectacular. He says, however, right? Anyone that's in the kingdom of God is greater than he, greater than John the Baptist. So if you've been born and are part of the kingdom of God, then you are greater than John the Baptist. Now, that's not something to say to like get you an ego trip. It should really tell you the power that has been uh, bestowed upon you by God Almighty, right? If John the Baptist was the greatest of all of these people up to this point, we're talking Moses and David and Abraham and uh, Elijah and Elisha, you know, just the whole gamut of the Old Testament all the way up until Jesus appears, that John the Baptist is the greatest of these. And then he says, but anyone that's in the kingdom is greater. That means that there is greatness that is being put inside of you and that you have the ability to do probably more than what you're what you're doing. You know, like probably more than, for me, probably more than what I'm doing, right? I should be able to enter into the gates with thanksgiving and the courts with praise, and I should be able to be bold about it because I know that I belong there and that that greatness that's inside of me is the Holy Spirit working through me. And so I just encourage you that, you know, like a lot of times we take this, you know, false humility where we say, oh, woe is me, you know, like I'm, I'm worthless, that the only thing good in me is, you know, is the work of God. And I'm like, come on, move into what God has called you to be because he said that you were worth it. He said that whenever he died on the cross that he wanted you. And if he wanted you, he wanted you with a purpose, right? He wanted you for a plan. And if you follow through with that plan, then there is greatness through it. And that might mean, you know, healing the sick. It might mean praying, you know, for for people and, and seeing the, the, the light of salvation turn on inside of them. There is nothing greater. So, but whenever we limit ourselves because we don't see the greatness inside of ourselves, then the enemy wins. So I challenge you, find your greatness. Thanks for taking a minute.